channel, Nicole, of course. As you guys can see from the title today, I went to a really cool themed um, pop-up shop. It's called Pop Fancy. They always do different themes. I believe I recorded one in the past. It was, um, I think, anime. But they always do something different every, I think, month or every couple of weeks. So if you are ever in Houston, there is like this little area. Um, there's Pop Fancies. They have the Korean corn dogs. And then there's also some uh, cheese, not cheese puff. Um, is it cheese puff? Am I thinking of the right thing? A cheese puff? Not a cheese puff. <laughs> Not a cheese puff. What is it called? Uh, what is that called, you guys? We're famous for them in um, Wisconsin at State Fair. A cheese puff? A cream puff. Oh my lord, help me. Woo. Anyways. I was actually gonna go in there um, because they have two Halloween themed cheese <laughs> cream puff. Um, but I already had an ice cream inside. I could not obviously film when I was in the pop fancy place. It was 80s themed this time and the music was way too loud. You can't even hear when they call out your number for your food. Plus they didn't have anything that was like, oh my gosh, it was ice cream, which would have melted ASAP when I got right into the car. Um, that's why I didn't take it out here. And then there was just basic like pizza, um, chicken and waffle, like tacos, uh, and like just basic stuff that wasn't like aesthetically pleasing so I didn't feel like I wanted to order something and then take it out here to the car so I did get a lot of footage um because I wanted to share it with you guys I thought it was really cool this time I actually bought tickets which were only like two dollars um there's two different lines so basically this is the first day that they're opening and I'm sure it will get even more crazier uh throughout the time I think throughout the day I should say I believe they're open until 11 p.m. it started at 1 I got here around like 1 15 the line wasn't very long but if you buy a ticket you go in there first like you're you know um first come first serve not really anyways <laughs> I'm saying I had a Red Bull before I pulled up and that's why I'm all uh, jittery and stuff plus that place was really really cool and they had um it was just really nice oh i bought a cup which i showed you guys kind of but they had three different options i liked this one there was one with like a scream mask that said i'm on the phone or something like that and it was like a white background the pink um detailing with like the scream mask and then like the saying i liked that one but i was like mm, i'm not really like into that kind of thing and then there was a stranger things cup i believe as well but i like this one the best i needed another like i need another um little starbucks cup <laughs> thing i just i couldn't pass it up i think these were 15 dollars. they had other things for sale as well um, you could choose from three different tops, tops and um, straws, but I just went with white. I think there was black and clear straws and then for, for the lids as well. I thought this one was pretty cute. It's like a matte feeling. Um, these are stickers though, so I'm not sure like just kind of watch how you wash it, but it's really cute and I like it. They had, you know, earrings, keychains, little like figurines shirts for sale i didn't personally like any of the shirts it was stranger things i've never watched that show i actually considered watching it um not too long ago because i was watching a podcast but let me just stop talking for a second so since i didn't get anything inside the pop fancy place i did just walk down a couple doors um a couple doors down and went into um, it's called Two Hands. So it's a Korean corn dog place. 
and I got two different ones for you guys so we can at least do like a little mini um a mini muffing I got one with hot Cheeto dust and then one with is it potatoes oh yeah so this one is Cheeto and Oh no, this is the potato. Potato, Cheeto, and I think that's like supposed to be spicy mayonnaise on there. Oh my gosh, I thought this woman was riding a scooter with her baby in front and it's not that. Her sweater is, she has it on like instead of the right way, it's around her arms. I don't know. I don't know what made me think of that being a child, but anywho, this is the potato one with some Cheeto dust and some spicy mayonnaise. And this one right here is the hot Cheeto and mayonnaise. Mmm, they're so colorful. They're really cute. Both of the places were packed. And I can only imagine, like I said, I they did give me a little, this is, they gave me this little smiley face when I walked in. So I don't know if I can like come back a little bit later. Snoop was supposed to come with me, but he had, um, something to do so he couldn't make it so maybe we can come back and he I can like show him it uh and then for my drink I just got a pineapple slushy it's really good mm. so let's go ahead and get a prayer and a thumbnail and we can dive in I wish I got a thumbnail in the spot but Oh well. Father God, I want to thank you for this food and please bless this food in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So yeah, we're doing <laughs> we're doing this as a mukbang, but my my whole point of today's video was to really do that place, but they didn't have good food options, so it is what it is. Actually I think I'm gonna take these out of the box for my thumbnail. <laughs> All right, let's dive into this one first. Mm. Ah, I'm trying to get it to move this way. Okay, whatever. It doesn't want to stay that way. <laughs> like this. It just keeps sliding. Oh, by the way, in the inside, you can choose from um, a couple different um, fillings. So I just got marinara sauce. I'm not marinara sauce. <laughs> what the heck? I'm thinking of mozzarella sticks. This is falling. Let me just bite into this. <laughs> what the heck? Mmm. These are really good. Mmm-hmm. Oh my gosh, someone just seen me do that. <laughs> mm. Anyways, <clears throat> that place is great. I love going to a little themed pop up parties, pop up parties. It's always there, it's just that. I really just, I missed, recently they just had one and on the wall it all looked like a laundry mat in there. I don't know what the theme was, but I'm mad I didn't go to that one. That one was really, really cute. This one, obviously I wasn't born in the 80s. Uh, I hope they have like a 90s themed one. That would be pretty awesome. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I follow them on Instagram so that I can keep up. Mm. 
I do have to say there was a lot of kids there. <clears throat> and it is Friday, but it was earlier. I don't know if kids got off like earlier today or what. But I was just kind of thinking like, I hope you guys heard that so I don't look crazy looking around like, oh. <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so there was a lot of kids there, it wasn't, the only thing about that place is it's not very big, so all the tables get taken up very fast, and I was just kind of chilling on like the little bar area, they had some bar stools, and good thing I got a seat because most of the time, I think I've been here two other times and I did not get to um, sit down and like actually enjoy it. I kind of just walked in, took video and pictures and stuff, um, got my food and then came back in the car. So it was nice to like just chill around for a little bit. I would have, you know, liked to like play some games or sat there and listened to the music. I did know a few of the songs. <laughs> Mm. I think it would actually be very cool to work there because you get to dress up especially if you like to dress up a lot like in cosplay and stuff all the workers have the cute little sailor outfits on and then you can kind of just like make it your own this guy like put some glasses on everyone's super nice and I can just I don't know I feel like it would be a really cool place to work mm. long because I was trying to get a thumbnail maybe this guy pulling in completely staring me down he's like turning and he's like what are you doing <laughs> or maybe he had something else on his mind <laughs> sorry head in the gutter over here but he was really checking it out. He was really interested in that cheese pull. <laughs> Sorry, I think this woman thinks I'm moving and I'm not. Sorry, girl. You're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Give me some good cheese pulls. <clears throat> I 
the first time I had this place, I don't think it was doing it like that. I wonder if because I waited too long, I, I think I pulled out and went into a different parking lot because there were so many people here. I can't remember. I wish they had that place, like, because they say on the on the website like you know um during the weekends it gets a lot more traffic than like the weekdays obviously would so i wish when they did it on the weekends maybe like of course when they first start opening around one or whatever um it can be like you know all family friendly or whatever but say they have like a, po a happy hour um so that the adults can get a little tipsy and kind of vibe out I think that would be a really good idea I should have suggested that to them maybe I can message them and maybe they can consider my idea I think that would be awesome especially if you really like got into it and like dressed up like I said this one is like 80 themed so if you came dressed up um you know with the leg warmers and the um you know when you're like working out they got the, the the leg warmers the leggings the onesie over the leggings headband and then they served um you know alcoholic drinks i should open up a club uh, my own restaurant i actually think i would do very well I would need someone to like help me with the business side, but I got the ideas down for sure. Who wants to open up a restaurant with me? Actually, I should ask Lexi low key. I feel like she would be down. <clears throat> but where would I open it up? Here in Houston, Florida. Actually, I'm low key. Remember, I told you guys, like, oh yeah, I want to move to Florida. And I knew that hurricanes were a thing, Abby. But since that recent hurricane hit and especially it hit in the place that I visit at least once a year and that's like literally where I wanted to move to I'm a little scared not gonna lie like <clears throat> it's just so awful and so sad uh, you have to rebuild all that stuff back up I feel so awful for all of the the businesses I know currently they're building Margaritaville. Good thing that wasn't all built up and they're finished. They're just starting like the concrete portion of the hotel. But I'm saying, what if they got everything up and like, you know, <clears throat> all the decor and everything? Because there's a boardwalk going into, because across the street here is going to be Margaritaville, but there's going to be a, a sky like walk. And then you can go over to, I don't know if it connected to Happy Crab or Margaritaville had their own restaurant or something, but it was like a sky deck. So imagine if they just put in all that money for the umbrellas, the chairs, all of that menu, civil or whatever. I know there's like insurance and stuff, but still, I would be so upset if I did all that work and a hurricane just came and wiped it out. Oh my gosh. I know Lonnie Kai probably took a hit. All of those businesses took a hit. <clears throat> and it's so incredibly sad. I should actually look into like going there and seeing if I can like help in some kind of way. Cause I would love, like I would seriously love, I would so be down to do that.
Mm. It's so weird. It's giving me like it's about to rain kind of vibes. I think it just might. But you know how Houston is? It'll rain for like 10, 20 minutes and then just be sunshine. So I think that's what's going to happen. I've been actually wanting it to rain lately. I feel like it really hasn't been raining here in Houston. It's just been hot. Like hot. <laughs> and like right now it's 89 degrees. <clears throat> and I just wish it would rain kind of cool down a little bit i know in new york it's been raining a lot recently i follow this guy on tiktok and he just kind of walks around uh, manhattan you know like those walk around lives like i watch a guy who's in uh i think it's korea um that walks around and like just shows their city and kind of like explains stuff and you know kind of just chats with you so i've been watching the new york guy and he said that it's been raining for like four days straight I used all my I used all my napkins because my soda exploded in my cup holder one day and it was just filled to the top with soda I was like because oh. I was trying to take it out to throw it out and I was in the Starbucks um <laughs> line getting a coffee and I was trying to move stuff around to put my cup down I pick it up and it was a panda cup and the whole bottom just fell through I was like man that sucks I tried to hold, uh, give it to the Starbucks employee he was like oh we can't throw stuff away I was like I get it but like I really need your help right now <laughs> I didn't say that but I was just thinking and I was like everything's all sticky I was like do you have extra napkins he gave me like two I was like thanks <sighs> I'm full by the way that ice cream that I showed you with the eyeball there was frozen ice underneath that's what made it like all smoky looking their ice cream is really good <clears throat> Um, I got strawberry and uh, it was really really good during the day like when they don't have like themed parties I'm gonna just call them themed parties they are they already have, like their ice cream shop with like some drinks and stuff they're already that like on a normal day but then they kind of just like do these pop up things so if you wanted just to have like some good ice cream you can go there on any given day and get like the same thing it just won't be all themed depending on excuse me what you get so with that being said you guys i hope you enjoyed everything smash that like button and leave a comment down below i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and stay blessed stay healthy I will see you guys tomorrow. You can always find me here on YouTube and Instagram. And Nicole, of course, and on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I love y'all so much. 